welcome. It's uh, so nice to be here and see so many faces of people that I've known for many years. I won't say how many. But since we were teenagers, so I'll say over 20 years, hello? More than, oh, maybe more. But anyway, we've um, come here to have some fun, make some music, and um, we're going to open up with a song. To me, the greatest that ever lived, the great Louis Armstrong. Now, yep. I mean, just, what can I say? He started everything. There were things going on before him, of course, but by the time he put his hand in there, man, that stuff changed like crazy, man. But he used to open up with this song, and it's a song I'm sure everybody will recognize called Back Home Again in Indiana. <laughs>
taking so much, that looks easy, that's so much. <laughs> and especially since I'm over 21, you know. <sighs> yeah, it's not that bad. But before we go any further, maybe I could introduce the members of the band so you know exactly who you're listening to. All the way from Sweden on the clarinet. You all seen her many times. And she's been my wife 23 years now. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I got the better part of that deal, I can tell you. But anyway, Caroline Bruni is on the clarinet. Now. A couple of guys that's become fixtures around here and on the drums. The great Carl Budo. Let me come go here over here. On the piano, you've seen him with George Porter, with George French, with George Washington, and George everybody. <laughs> anyway, the great Michael Lembler, that's him right here. On the bass, his mom was my junior high school teacher <laughs> more than 20 years ago. <laughs> but the greatest bass player and the nicest guy you'll ever meet, the great Richard Moten here. <laughs> you know, when growing up, we all were in garage bands. That was where we started learning to play, started learning to transcribe and arrange and write and stuff like that. You don't hardly have that anymore. And uh, I think it's, you know, anyway, it was a good thing for us because, I mean, Richard used to play with the band Chocolate Milk. You know, you remember, anybody remember that? Yeah, more than 20 years ago. I played with the Javelins, uh, Aubrey Twins, the Soul Sensation, all of that stuff, more than 20 years ago. Y'all had, had a garage band? Who was the name of them? Yeah. He played with the, the band. Michael, who'd you play with, Carl? Uh, uh, just a bunch of nobodies. Bunch of, the bunch of nobodies, I've heard of them. Yes. And. It was too damn cold in Sweden to have a garage band. You know, everybody was inside <laughs> next to the fireplace, you know. We had a the, what y'all had? The oh, they had a family band <laughs> next to the fireplace, though. Yeah. <laughs> what was the name of y'all band? The Dixieland Kids. All right. She played with the, the Dixieland Kids. How's about that from Sweden? You know, Richard was just telling us, we grew up with a great drummer. We called him Sugarfoot, but his real name was Jonathan Moffat. And um, he went to Los Angeles, got and worked a lot with Michael Jackson and Madonna and who did it? Was it Maze or Cameo? Cameo, yeah. Anyway, Richard said he heard from him recently. And, you know, like we were the same age then. And we're still the same age. <laughs> so, most, yeah, over 20, exactly right. But, you know, back when, you know, when we weren't over 20, we used to talk about chicks. Now we talk about what medicines we are on, you know? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, one of the great songs growing up that we learned, I'm gonna play it right now, was from James Brown and the JBs. And, it's a song uh, titled, The Chicken. Uh -huh. If you never heard it before, yeah, don't be scared.
the chicken. Been a long time. I was a little chicken there for a while, but anyway, you know, we grew up in those garage bands just learning everybody's part, learning how to sing everybody's part and the words to every song and stuff like that. It was really a great way to learn music. And this next song was a song, a traditional Spanish song and it was played by Carlos Santana. And um, he had a really great, unique sound on the guitar. And I'm gonna give you my rendition of Carlos Santana doing an impersonation of me, okay? <laughs> Just, if you're looking for good jokes, you're in the wrong place, okay? <laughs> I can tell you right now. But, we well, I'm gonna do that Europa. So this is, Beautiful song I recorded uh, in Europe a long time ago, and it's a great song titled Europa.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's fun to play those kinds of songs, and we all want to feel like we've made some kind of progress on that song, you know, <laughs> since we were 15 or 16. Anyway, we have Caroline on the clarinet, and her childhood band was the Dixieland Kids. So you want to play a song from? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Wow. Yes, uh, I was looking at a deer in the headlights there for a minute. I was like, <laughs> trying to recall the songs we're playing. <laughs> but you just, just do a song. Yeah, we don't know what songs you did with the Dixie Kids, okay? All right, cool. Let's do a spooky takes a holiday. This is a C minor eight.
That must have been a pretty good band, that Dixieland kids, if they were playing like that. Excuse me? I wasn't playing like that. You weren't playing like that, though. No? Yeah. Take my word, but we none were playing like that when we were that age. But you know, around 1962 or 63, the great Danny Barker moved back to New Orleans from New York. And um, I did my first interview. He came to our house. 1955 North Taunty Street. He and Dick Allen came to my, our house and interviewed me. I was nine years old. Yeah, I must have said some stuff, boy. I, I, I've never heard it. I never wanted to hear it. I'm like, yeah. But Danny Barker brought us a record, and it was a 78. Now, you know. We've been through all of these things with Ed. 78, 33 and a third, 33, 45s, CDs, cassettes. Oh, yeah, cassettes. I forget. You know, hey, you know, I'm over 21 now, girl. Watch out. What else? What else is there? Eight track. Yes. All of these things. Anyway, but Danny Brocker brought us this song on one side of the 78 was Corrine died on the battlefield. I don't know if you ever heard it. It was an old Mardi Gras song. And on the other side was a song called Tutti Mama is a big fine thing. You know, I've worked some of my first gigs. The first gig I ever got paid for, I worked with Danny Barker. And, um, you know, yeah, I, I don't still have the money. No, I don't. But. He did this song, and you know, it was one of the first Mardi Gras songs, a fun Mardi Gras, because, you know, before Danny did the Tutti Mama, Mardi Gras music used to kind of sound like this, and maybe some of you remember it. So you'd have to wake people up at the ball and stuff, you know, you know. But then Danny Barker did this Tutti Mama's a big fine thing with a lot of the expatriates from New Orleans, great Henry Red Allen, Pops Foster, and Baby Dodds, and uh, Albert Nicholas, and all those guys won this recording, and called it Tutti Mama's a big fine thing. Now, when I say Tutti Mama's a big fine thing, I want y'all to say, ooh, na nay, shake that thing. How's about that? <laughs> y'all ready? I tried to give you a second to, you know, get the thing going. Here, hit that G for me. Come on, y'all. Ooh, na nay, shake that thing. Ooh, na nay, shake that shit. Y'all ready? Mama is a big fine thing. Tootie Mama is a big fine thing. Tootie Mama is a big fine thing. Tootie Mama is a big fine thing. Finest thing you ever saw. Done some things against the law. Stole my papa right from my mom. I'm gonna knock on the door. Pray for me on Mardi Gras day. Pray for me on Mardi Gras day. One more time. Tootie Mama is a big fine thing. Tootie Mama is a big fine thing. 
Your mama is a big fine thing Two, your mama is a big fine thing Two, they mama went off the ramp Looking for some joke to them Police come put her in jail I'm gonna pay her bail Pray for me on my God day For me on Mardi Gras Day Richard Moat, everybody, come on. Two, your mama is a big fine thing. 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 Finest thing you ever saw. Done some things against the law. Stole my papa right from my mom. I'm gonna, now gonna do. Pray for me on my crowd day. Pray for me on my crowd day. I learned more hanging around with Danny Barker, I tell you. Not all of it good, you know what I mean? <laughs> he taught me some lyrics that, um, I mean, it make the devil blush, you know. <laughs> it's okay, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna do that. We got Richard Moten on the bass. Yes. And you know, I've heard people say he's got the best hands and mustache in the business. <laughs> exactly what that means, I don't have a clue. You know, because I'll tell you, you know, when we were teenagers, we were in, in Houston's band together, we were two teenagers, and um, he had all the girls. I was pretty sheltered, you know, growing up. <laughs> Catholic. You know, 
Anyway. <laughs> Nobody buying that. What? <laughs> My wife is right there. Not even your wife. <laughs> She's not even buying that. But there was one time when a girl called me up and said, hey, Wendell, come on over. Nobody's home. Mm. Needless to say, I rushed over there. No one was home. <laughs> yeah. Michael's still laughing at my jokes after 30 years, you know? Anyway. We're going to feature Richard Moten. Which one do you want, brother? Of course, that's good. No, that's good. This is a song made famous by the greatest, the great Louis Armstrong. Uh, I'll tell you what. He not only influenced trumpet players, but clarinet players, trombone players, bass players, drummers, everybody. And this is a song Louis did called Dinah. Here comes Richard Moten. recently celebrated a birthday, and one of my presents was this mute. And I met up with a trumpet player the other night, I was flying on the boat, and he was like, hey, bro, how come you ain't got no dents in that mute? <laughs> you know what I mean, Eric? <laughs> I haven't had a chance to drop it yet. That's... <laughs> At Preservation Hall the other night, I did drop it, you see, how do you see that? Anyway, so, my first dent. But Louis Armstrong, you know, he recorded over 3,000 songs. Mm -hmm. And you got a, when you've got that much in your library, um, you've recorded, you know, like German songs, French songs, Spanish songs. He's recorded all kinds of songs. And 
This was originally a French song from the great Edith Piaf. And I don't know if dancing is allowed in here, but if you want to get up and dance, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. This is one of the beautiful love songs of our time. It's called La Vienne Rose. spell you cast this is la vion rose and when you kiss me heaven sighs and though I close my eyes I see la vion rose and when Press me to your heart. We're in a world apart, a world where roses bloom. And when you speak, angels sing from above, and everyday words. Seem to turn into love songs So give your heart and soul to me And darling, life will be Love the on road we got to do is do what Louis Armstrong told us to do. That's all. We got Mike Lemler on the piano. Yes. Used to play the trumpet. Used to play the trombone. But he let it slide. Yep. <laughs> I told you if you're looking for good jokes, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> what you want to do for him, brother? You do whatever you want. Uh-huh. Little Jerry Lewis or something? No, come on.
Mike Lemler. You're playing like you think we have a raise or something. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I always say musicians, especially jazz musicians, we get paid weekly. Very weekly, yeah. Very, very weekly. Anyway, I went and get some valve oil. You know, they say it's a very sad craftsman that blames his tools, you know? And we're going to do this song, the great George French. You know, many years ago, Papa French called my daddy for a gig. And my daddy said, man, I'm not, I'm sick. I can't make it. But I'll send my son, which he thought was going to be my brother John. <laughs> and then I showed up with my big puffy hair. Do y'all remember that? You know, I had more hair and less body back then. Just the way it is. But I tell you, my father time is just undefeated. I'm telling you, he's undefeated. But I got to, my brother John actually was working with Papa French's son, the great George French. And George French used to do this song. It was written by Hoagie Carmichael. And um, I thought about singing it, but nobody can sing this like George French. But we, we'll maybe just play it. I don't know. I might get the angling to sing. But it's a song Hoagie wrote for Louis Armstrong, and it's titled New Orleans. <laughs> Thank you. 
as we get for hanging around great New Orleans musicians, stuff like that. Boy, um, when I was a kid, we used to play at Club 77. We were 16. We weren't old enough to go in there. But we kind of acted like we had sense. Didn't go to the bar. We had our own um, thing. That was the 60s, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, but we used to play from 10 to 2, and we were opening for a great band called The Meters. Yeah. And, man, you know, they weren't but about four or five years older than us. But, man, they were so hip, man. They had, you know, the them apple cap and cigarettes and other things, you know, going on. And, man, what's, what's that? Yeah, we're dark glasses inside. You know, you're like, what's going on over there, bro? But this is a song done by the meters. I think you know it. If you don't know it, I feel so sorry for you, I swear to God. We'll do it and see when we come with Hey Pocky Way. All right, this is a song called Hey Pocky Way. If you want to get up and shake your money maker, shake what your mama gave you, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, here we go. Mm. Down in New Orleans, 
so long night, so long day, on my underground morning, they went all away, then he said, hey, 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 Papi, hey. Growing up in, all right, one, two, yeah. I thought I lost my voice there for a minute. Yeah. But anyway, growing up in New Orleans has been a true, true blessing for me to be around my dad. My dad went to Juilliard. Richard's mother also went to Juilliard, and that's, um, that was quite an accomplishment back in those, in those days, any day. It's quite an accomplishment growing up around Dave Bartholomew, people like that. I mean, I did a great concert a couple of weeks ago dedicated to Dave, and um, I got to play all that wah-wah stuff like he used to play. That was exciting, man, I swear. You know, the, um, let's see. This song was recorded in New Orleans at Cosmo Studios, featuring the great Charles Brown and Earl Palmer, Edward Frank, Frank Fields, Justin Adams. They made this song, man. And um, it's a song called Christmas Comes but Once a Year. And I tell you what, if they don't play this song outside of New Orleans, frankly, my dear Scarlett, you can finish it if you want to, okay? <laughs> this is one of the great songs of New Orleans. Christmas comes, but once a year. Christmas time, nothing but once a year. Ooh, ooh, ooh Christmas time, come nothing but once a year. It's gonna take six months to pay these bills Every time I think about it, it gives me chills But I don't care, Christmas comes but once a year I'm getting ready, gonna have myself a ball Ooh, the kids are ready for the happiest time of all and for the next six months, I'll pay these bills. Every time I think about it, it gives me chills. But I don't care. Christmas comes but once a year. Woo!
Christmas time Come nothing but once a year Christmas time Come nothing but once a year It's gonna take six months to pay these bills Every time I think about it, it gives me chills I don't care Christmas come but once a year I'm getting ready Gonna have myself a ball Ooh, 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 the kids are ready For the happiest time of fall It's gonna take six months to pay these bills Every time I think about it, it gives me chills But I don't care Christmas come but once a year 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 Thank you so much. You know, we're getting close to Splashdown. That's the problem with having so much fun. Time runs out, you know? But um, this, we got a couple of more songs, but this one could qualify to be the national anthem. That's right. It's a song called Big Chief. That's the biggest chief, you know what I mean? But me got fired, can't put him out. I don't know. I don't know Biden going but I could just see him not. <laughs> anyway, this is one of the greatest songs in the history of music. And if you don't think so, you're wrong. Yeah. That's so, all. But it's from the great Earl King and Professor Long Hair. And if there's a better song, I want you to introduce it to me because I don't know any better songs than this. This is the song, Big Chief. And you know, like, I know everybody here knows who Mardi Gras is. And when I'm explaining it to people, you know, I always say, well, it's a, it's a season in New Orleans when co-eds, you know, <laughs> expose themselves <laughs> to New Orleans culture. That's, that's what I'm thinking. I'm, you know, and I always say this, I got a nice wife. I never look at that stuff. But Freddie Lonzo, <laughs> he keeps me abreast of what's going on. Abreast? Abreast, you know, a, a breast, you, know you, you gotta look at it, Google it, Google it. Oh yeah, you, well, hey. You know, it's one of those words that covers, you know, yeah, it covers a lot of stuff and uncovers a lot of stuff. But anyway, this is a song we hope you all enjoy called Big Chief.
got my squirrel right by my side. Me firewater gonna make me high. See my spy boy full of fire. I'm going down and have some fun. Me going down to the morning come. another song, slow it down a little bit, yeah, that we learned when we were kids. It's one of the great songs that we hardly ever hear anymore, and I'll tell you what, we should hear more of it. It's done by the great B.B. King, and it's called Guess Who. <clears throat> Not someone really loves you, all of you, guess who, Ooh. someone really cares, guess who. Open up your heart and 
and surely, surely, surely you will see that that someone who really cares is me. Someone will wait eternally Someone who wants your love so desperately So open, open up your heart And surely, surely, surely you will see That that someone who really cares is me Surely you will see that that someone who really cares, that someone who really, 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 really cares, that somebody who really, 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 really cares is me. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Caroline Bruniels, Carl Goodos, Richard Moten, Mike Lemler, yours, Julie Wendell Bruniels. Thank you so much. God bless you. Hope you had a great time tonight. Thank you so much.